The Flash is a student forum for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Hey Eastview, welcome to the first day of The Flash. I'm Maddie. I'm Saya, and today we have a lot of interesting stories about the Eastview community. First, we'll look at how Eastview Theatre has had to adapt to the pandemic. Then, we have a story on how one of Eastview's own mountain biking captains overcame all odds. And finally, we'll share how senior Brennan Clendenin kept practicing what he loves over quarantine. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. flash. Activity that requires close contact performers in a live audience such as theater, you're probably wondering what this year's performances are going to look like. Godwin has a story. Oh, look! It's Grandpa coming to visit! The fall play is happening this year, but with a few major changes. It was definitely hard starting to put the show together because so much of theater is based on chemistry with other characters. That chemistry is difficult because they are practicing and performing the whole play over Zoom instead of on stage. When we're rehearsing on stage, we get to see each other. We get to feel each other's emotions very, in a very real way. Uh, when we're looking for a screen, that's not always possible. This year's cast has taken the impossible and implausible and made it possible. Before, uh, back when we were in school, you know, there would be an entire tech crew with stage managers and sound operators and people running the show behind the scenes, and we don't have that now. Even without a tech crew, they are using technology to help tell this story. So we're experimenting with doing um, virtual backgrounds over Zoom to make it feel like more of a set and have like that 1950s home. Um, but it's been difficult because not everybody has the same technology. Hold on a second, we need to fix Hannah Olson's whatever's happening here. Despite the challenges, the play is breaking new grounds and is sure to be a fantastic show. It's definitely been really different, but it's still a super cool way to perform and it's been really neat to just work on something artistic during this time. Reporting for The Flash, this is Godwin. It's very funny and super big, and it's all done over Zoom. It's great to see Eastview Theatre still finding ways for their students to participate in what they love, because with the pandemic, many activities got canceled this year. Yeah, it's really cool to see people overcoming obstacles, kind of like Braden the Loop, whose life was turned upside down last year. This story is about how he continued his favorite sport, mountain biking, despite all these challenges. Raiden in the Loop was a strong mountain biker on the ECU mountain biking team for many years and even extended his role to captain over the last two years. Uh, I've been a coach on the District 196 mountain bike team for six years now. Last year I was pretty proud to see a Braden race really hard and make a podium spot for our state championship uh, overall last year. But all that was about to change when he was diagnosed last year with a very rare heart condition called anomalous right coronary artery. I found out about my heart condition through the Play for Patrick Foundation at Eastview. Last fall, I think in November, they had a screening just in the gym and I went. It was really difficult deciding whether to do surgery or not because it's something where I could live my entire life and I could be completely fine. He decided to do the surgery and underwent open heart surgery at the Mayo Clinic in June to fix his defect. So recovery from my surgery has been really well. I was super lucky, I only was in the hospital for four days and then I was able to come back home. But I couldn't return to mountain biking until about eight weeks where I was able to come back to the team and be with everyone again, which was a lot of fun. And then I jumped right in and started training as hard as I could for our races this year. Brayden is looking forward to being able to enjoy the rest of his senior year with the team and continue to participate in activities like normal again and would like to recommend to any of the students that haven't gotten their heart tested for through Player Patrick or even their care doctor. I recommend that you do that because it might be nothing, in which case that's great, you can keep living your life, but if it's not, it could save your life. Signing off for The Flash with assistance from Saya, this is Khalid. Wow, that's such an amazing story and one that will be remembered forever. 
Once again, thank you to the Play for Patrick Foundation for contributing so much towards students and their families. Hey, Seiya, have you ever been fly fishing? If I'm being honest, Maddie, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, then you're in luck. Today's story is about how one student took his hobby of fly fishing to the next level over quarantine. Take it away, Jack. When a quarantine keeps you trapped at home, there are still some who steer their ships to the great outdoors. COVID, like with less school, gave me the opportunity to fish a lot more. And not only me, but a lot of other people. Because at one point, I think I was fishing like three days a week during the school week. Do, two days do homework, and those other three days, I just go out in the boat and fish. Thank you for that MFM blooper. Brennan's YouTube channel, Midwest Fly Fishing, started with one iconic video. And then in ninth grade, I posted my first video, the four pound brown, which for those who like know my channel, is kind of like my first video, but also kind of like my most famous, honestly, because I had a really like funny reaction to catching the fish and like it was poorly edited, but it was a big fish. So it just, it turned out kind of funny. Dad, it's not it. Stop, 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 stop. Get it, get it, it's right there. He's so big. I... It's a brown, it's a brown. Oh my God, that's why I didn't jump. <laughs> keep him in the net, keep him in the net. Huh? We'll burn him over the bank here. <laughs> Look how big that is. That's like a four pound brown. We get a, oh my God. I mean, it's not about the fish you catch. I mean, that's why we go out there. But at the end of the day, is, you remember when Uncle Jimmy fell in the lake or when, you know, when somebody broke the rod and at the time some bad stuff happened, but you go back and laugh on it. You can go back through the years. And that's what fishing and hunting really is all about. It's about going outdoors and just having a good time with others. Signing off for The Flash, this is Jack. Wow, what a catch of a story. Yeah, it really makes me want to go hit the lake and catch some fish. Well, anyways, Eastview, that's all the news we have for today. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>